Hello, how are you? And happy National Canadian Film Day. Happy right? National happy Canadian National Canadian Film, film Day. Day. It's apropos that we are talking about this wonderful film today, right? Yeah, because yeah. it's Canadian, yeah. right? And it's you guys have both given us a few of those. So I thank you as a fellow Canadian. Um, got to watch this movie back at TIFF, actually. And then I just rewatched it again because, you know, I'm getting old and my memory is fading. But I, I love it even more. It's so much fun. yet way too relatable, I got to say. So, <laughs> yeah. so Jonas, you know, when you started to write this one, I mean, I know it reunites you from the, the 10 years ago. I can't even believe it that you two worked oh. together. But what was sparring, you know, sparring your mind to write this, like, you know, and what did your wife have to say? <laughs> well, first of all, I want to make it very clear that uh, my wife and I have an incredible sex life and always have. Yeah, this is about friends. of This his. is based on other people's experiences of struggling yeah. with, uh, you know, keeping the flame alive. <laughs> yeah, uh, it started off as something else uh, after we did My Awkward Sexual Adventure at 10 years ago, I felt pressure. I wanted to write another sex comedy and have something ready to go. But the director, Sean Garrity, and I quickly realized that we we felt like we needed to move on and do something else. That it didn't feel right to do another yeah. one right away. So I had kind of developed an idea, but it didn't feel true yet. And so I shelved it. And then we pulled it out like about a year and a half ago and dusted it off. And I suddenly realized Sean and I both read it and we went, wait a minute, our lives have changed. We're now... yeah not in our thirties anymore. And um, we have been married, both of us, not to each other for a long time. And we have, both have kids and right. we felt like we had a new lens to look at human sexuality and sexual insecurity through. And I, so I was able to kind of harness that and channel it into the script. And that's where the end of sex came from. And then there you go. And it was a great, great film. And, and Emily, for you, I mean, I guess it was just like, Kind of riding a bike, getting back with Jonas, you know, like you guys were old pals, right? So it had to made it easier to make that relationship seem so real. Oh yeah, I mean, if I could, I would do everything with Jonas and Sean. It's just so easy because there's no kind of acting required. Um, and but also, I just love this script so much. I think Jonas is an amazing writer in a way that pretend you're not here because I don't like giving him compliments just, oh, but man. what I do think he does that not a lot of people do is make a real kind of a big movie that that that's like those like knocked up or this is 40 that you go to the theater to see that's relatable that's not dark right. and um and it's funny but it's honest and and I love that we just happened to well, you know, when we did my awkward sexual adventure, we were both at that similar generation and place in our life. And then 10 years later, we both can understand this too. Yeah. So in 10 years, we'll be geriatric. We've got to come up with something else for 10 years. From yeah. now. I can't wait. 10. Yeah. You, you, you've got to do these like every 10 years, right? I, it'll be like our before sunrise yeah, series. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. I look forward to that. Okay. Jonas, have you ever sent the kids off the camp and then you and your wife are standing there going like, what now? You know, it's so funny. We I, When I wrote the film and when we shot it, which was a year, about a year ago, I hadn't yet had that experience and then that summer last summer was the first summer oh, that we shipped the kids off to camp yeah uh, we had a great time <laughs> there was no uh there was no you know sexual hijinks we didn't get up to any any trouble but uh but but i'd always you know i i always um I always looked at that experience of like what is that what is that like to suddenly be an empty nest or, or to suddenly have that piece of your life removed and, and yeah. it, it, it kind of returns you to a state or you imagine that it would return you to a state of uh, that you had been previously, but that's not the case. And that's what Sean Garrity, the director was really interested in was this idea that we are who we are in our twenties. We are who we are in our thirties. And then we, we like to pretend that we haven't changed as we're getting right. older or mm -hmm. having kids or becoming parents. We want to just be those people all our lives. And part yeah. of us connects still with those people. But, you know, ultimately I think the, the, the end result of looking at that and analyzing and observing it is that we we, we aren't the same people like we change yeah. We grow. right mm -hmm. yeah and kids really do change the equation there's no question about it right totally. yeah nothing you can do like 
you got to tend to them. It is what it is. But yeah, shipping them off to camp is always a good thing. Trust me. I know. I remember. Uh, <laughs> um, Emily, do you ever get worried when you get one of these scripts? You're like, hmm, that's a bit of a compromising uh, position, but maybe, you know, maybe it's just so much fun. <laughs> if it wasn't with Jonas and Sean, yes. Um, but what I experienced on my awkward sexual adventure when I didn't know either of them, I was, and there was no such thing as an intimacy coordinator then. Right. I had never been on a set where I felt more respected and heard and listened to. And um, it it made me want to act again at a time when I didn't think I want to do. Um, and so, yeah, there's no, I would go in any position for Jonas. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that the third movie is starting, <laughs> starting to take shape a little I was, bit. Yes, I was watching your mind go there, Jonas, and you're already writing and it. Yes, I, all the positions. <laughs> I yeah. mean, the, all the movies. <laughs> that, uh, I think that, um, you know, the, the movie is very sexual and it's quite explicit, but ultimately, yeah. like, if you really break it down, I remember saying to Sean as we were like gearing up for production, I'm like, all right, here we go again. I better get in shape. Like we're going to get naked. And he was like, you know, this is not 10 years ago. You know, we wanted to see you guys naked. He's like, nope, no, wants to, he wants to see people in their 40s naked. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess maybe. So while we, there's a lot of sex in the movie and Emily certainly is not uh, shy with that stuff and she's fully committed to it. Uh, you know, it did feel like the right sort of tone. tone yeah. For like yeah. what he was it didn't yeah. feel gratuitous you know i didn't For sure yeah and that was important to me that it's like it's funny and it's awkward and it's not raunchy in a way that is um exploited that takes you out of the movie yeah. you know? it takes you out of the tone yeah yeah, yeah 100 I, I completely agree no i really really loved it um just a few more minutes but emily gotta i gotta talk to you about your new book now you've just come out with a great new book tell us a little bit about that how exciting is it to be, uh, you know, published author now? <laughs> it's um, honestly the dream I never knew I had come true because um, I never thought of making a comic book. But when it was presented to me as this limitless canvas, like I've always wanted a jello pool. I have dreamed of a jello pool all my life. And finally I can have it. Like even in a movie, health and safety would be like, no, you got to sanitize that jello. Um, so to be able to do that. And, and then, I mean, I was, I, I was watching the Kardashians um, as one does. And uh, as one does. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And then, and I was like, this is, this is a real family. Like, what if I just happened to be born into this family? I would be the worst Kardashian ever they would kick me off the show. And that's kind of where the idea for Amelia came from because she is um, the black sheep of her very famous witch family who have a reality show, a la Kardashians. Yeah. And uh, they kick her, well, they cut her out of the show because uh, her magic is just like off brand. It's like <laughs> bad, really yeah. bad. She accidentally turned her brother into a Yeti. It's I like know, right. yeah. warm. So yeah, that's, um, but it's been the greatest experience ever um yeah book signings and stuff it's really fun good for you okay so just last thing um so let's look down the road and there's going to be a Shit's creek reunion and we're going to have a special movie and i want to see jonas as a co-star so jonas what who would you like to play in this in this film have you uh, ever seen Shit's Creek? I've though? seen every think... single episode of Shit's Creek. Every <laughs> single episode. Oh, wow. And you you know that you just forgot. And I would text you as I because I binged it during COVID and I would be texting, oh, you, oh my God. <laughs> uh I think because of this uh energy, yeah. Come back to meet the characters again. Stevie has ended up with this guy, some version of this guy, right? Yeah. And, uh, and is at a crossroads. Uh, I don't know. I'm. I'm no, I'm I think it, it makes sense because yeah. also if you Google either one of us, uh, it says that we were married. Yeah. Right. That's so weird. Oh, How did that oh. ever happen? It didn't, and I yeah. want everyone to know that. Yeah. I don't know why she's so insistent that people not know that people know this, but yeah, you put in uh, Emily Hampshire's husband, I come up. Which is, uh, I'll Listen, take it. It's it's not a bad thing. It's, I you mean, know, for some me, of us, it me, is. It's good. It's it's embarrassing for her. For it's me. terrible. Let's yeah. face it. Yeah, it's not helping her at all. 
Well, you know what? I love seeing you guys on screen. So I am looking forward to the next film. Well, you know what? Don't even wait 10 years. Just, just do it again soon. Okay. All right. We're on it. We're on it. Okay. <laughs> but I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. The movie is fantastic and always love talking to you guys. So thanks and have a great day. Thanks Thank so you. much. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.